happy to be here as a hometown Mount Airy boy um, uh, and, and look forward to some uh, good discussion. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to share the screen. Uh, I'll chat a little bit about uh, some of what's going on at Workforce and Arevo Group and um, what's happening with us, but uh, I'd love to, you know, uh, make this more interactive and take questions and be able to answer things uh, either about the organization, about COVID response, um, uh, it, things that we're seeing in the market as it relates to talent, uh, it, you know, anything like that um, so that folks get the most out of it. But uh, give me just a second to see if I can get this thing up. Um, here we go. There we go. All right. You should see the presentation. Um, so, so there's my name and my, my email. Uh, uh, Randy, I appreciate the uh, introduction. Um, you'll see that uh, it, it says a Revo Group update. Uh, we just recently uh, have are, are going through a brand refresh that literally just started at the beginning of December. Uh, we have um, multiple companies, as you all know, and we are now uh, referring to them as the Revo Group family of companies and I will uh, uh, work for that includes Workforce Unlimited and I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we get into this. So let me tell you a little bit about um, what's new and, and uh, why we are where we are. So uh, like most companies, COVID, um, you know, knocked, knocked the air out of us to say it lightly. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, uh, it has been a roller coaster ride. Um, just, just to give you a feel, we had about 2,000 people out on assignment um, uh, over the course of 2019. Uh, and uh, at the end of March, uh, first week of April, we got down to about 300, just over 300 people on assignment. So we saw a significant loss of business. Um, as a result, we, um, we had some major cuts. We moved into survival mode. Uh, we were then fortunate to qualify for PPP and we've been rebuilding the company uh, using PPP funds to do that. And, um, you know, so one of the things that um, as we've been rebuilding that's really, um, uh, you know, kind of evolved is this uh, quote that um, has really stuck out to us, uh, honoring our past, respecting the present and inspiring the future. Uh, so, you know, obviously my mom uh, has done great things with workforce, been a huge part of the community um, and, and the, the organization. I mean, we wouldn't be where we are today without her um uh, leadership and, and commitment to uh, the organization and the community. Uh, so honoring the past, and that's, that's, um, that goes as far back as her in, in 1987 and on the floor with the typewriter. We all, we all know that story, or I hope we do. And uh, to, to where we are today with some folks who have been with the organization for a long time, including Tracy George, who's on here, our, actually our longest term employee. Um, but, but a lot of new folks, uh, we got down to under, um, uh, we had in-house employees, about 100 employees at uh, the end of 2019. We got down to uh, right at um, 50 or so with uh, several of those furloughed during the COVID. And we are now back to 96 employees as of this morning, um, uh, you know, due to being able to get our hands on the, the PPP money. So uh, so that this quote and this refresh is is really all about taking what's been great about the organization, the history, and um, and trying to move it into the future with the new team and and, um, uh, and the legacy team. So uh, you know um, I'm not going to read the slide. I imagine you guys have had a chance to to do that. Uh, but here is the new um, branding. Uh, you'll see uh, the Revo Group uh, family company. So that's the umbrella. We have uh, Workforce Unlimited. Everybody knows as one of the uh, member companies. A Revo Professional is a member company that that historically was referred was referred to a Revo as a Revo Group. Uh, a lot of uh, companies throughout the community have used a Revo Group to do some high end uh, professional placements. Probably the uh, the most notable placement we've done in the Mount Airy Surrey County community is uh, uh, bringing um, the CEO to Northern Hospital. So uh, um, Chris Lumsden. Uh, so we're we're really proud of that. We've done some other. Uh, high-end replacements, but that's a Revo Professional, uh, which was formerly a Revo Group. And then our newest entity is a Revo Management. We actually launched this in the fall of last year, um, uh, and it's a separate company. 
Uh, we had a breakfast there in Mount Airy. Randy, I think you were there. And uh, we, we, launched, we launched it. Uh, we're really excited about it. And then when COVID hit, we just kind of pushed it aside. Uh, but uh, um, behind the scenes, we've continued to move forward um, with the Revo management. Uh, so in general, um, you know, I think you all know Workforce Unlimited does um, wide industrial staffing. Um, you know, we do some clerical administrative stuff, a Revo for professional. I mentioned the CEO for the hospital. We do a lot in IT and engineering, um, uh, some contract work as well as direct hire placement. Uh, and then Revo management is, is where I'll spend um, maybe more time today than, than in other places, uh, just making sure folks um, know what we're able to do there, in particular for small businesses. I know a lot of chamber members are small businesses. I know a lot of, um, I've heard a lot of folks many times say, well, we're not big enough to use staffing or we're not big enough to work with workforce. Well, you, you, you know, no matter how big you are, there's, there's opportunities to work with the Revo management group. Uh, we can, and we'll chat about those in, in a little bit. Uh, so um, you'll see uh, the Triad Business Journal is our main venue for uh, advertising this branding refresh. You'll see the quote that I mentioned before. You'll see the um, different companies, um, uh, you know, highlighted. Uh, you know, one thing I want to mention, if you just think about the quote and honoring the past, uh, if everybody knows the old, uh, the people will, uh, as part of the Workforce Unlimited logo, we, we have this updated, uh, we're calling it a people wheel, although it, it doesn't necessarily look like people, uh, but in today's time, you know, I think that's okay. So um, uh, let's see. Um, so uh, the Erevo Management Group, our managed services uh, offering, uh, a few things that some of the uh, organizations may or may not be aware that we do. Um, talent strategy development um, and discipline project and system execution. So in, in the HR space in particular, you know, whether it's recruiting, hiring, um, uh, helping uh, 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 cater uh, job descriptions, handbook review, um, uh, compliance uh, sp in specific areas, whether it's COVID or uh, the Affordable Care Act, um, many things around, around that uh, we've, we've done some consulting work for. Uh, diversity inclusion uh, project is one that we've been uh, doing recently up in Roanoke. Um, so if, if your organization um, is uh, trying to figure out how to manage people or what to do with your people, where to find people, um, how to attract the best people, uh, that's where some of our HR consulting can come in. Um, and it doesn't require, you know, having to hire people or, or to use temp employees. Uh, in the leadership consulting, uh, we've got some really strong resources here. Uh, Andy McKay uh, is a certified master coach, and then uh, Kathy Atkins, um, uh, former, uh, she, she headed up, headed up a, a m and group for uh, General Dynamics years ago, has her own uh, firm today working with us. And um, uh, leadership development, this can, this can be individual executive coaching to help uh, deal with difficult situations. Uh, to and to help inspire your uh, people, or it can be focusing on um, just enhancing management uh, skills for uh, key members of your team. And this can be again one on one uh, if you want to improve your own um, leadership uh, uh, experience, or it can be in a, in a group setting. Uh, in, you know, a lot of times seven to nine people are a really good number uh, for the uh, group uh, management development program. Uh, and there's some folks uh, on the call today I know uh, who have been through, um, you know, some of those programs and some of that coaching that I think could attest to the value of it. Uh, and then on the finance side, um, uh, you know, very basic bookkeeping, bank reconciliation, uh, you know, collections or, or payables, especially, you know, if we're looking at um, uh, trying to improve or enhance those processes uh, and then payroll processing. Um, in, in a way, if, uh, you know, your small business, uh, one thing, one thing that can be a benefit about our managed service offering, if you, uh, if, if providing full, if, if providing benefits to your full-time staff is expensive or difficult, or you don't think your plans are rich enough, um, and, or wanting to automate some of your back office processes, uh, or use, um, technology to, to make it easier for your employees and for yourself. Uh, those are things that we can help you outsource and accomplish 
uh, through through a, a kind of an outsourced managed service offering. Um, so anyway, that's that's at a very high level. Um, you know what the Revo Management Group is. It's the newest um, the company as part of our um, family of companies. That's when Kendra and I started together last year. And then, um, you know, I, I mentioned a little bit about benefits. Uh, uh, one of the things that we've done um, as coming out of this COVID in an effort to really um, incent people to get back to work, but also to be a, um, a, a real differentiator in the marketplace is that we are offering a full-time, um, we're calling it a full-time temp strategy for Workforce Unlimited. Uh, but, but in general, what we are doing is uh, for anyone who works uh, five weeks, uh, averaging 37 hours a week, uh, we're offering them full-time benefits, which includes uh, seven paid holidays, one of those being your birthday, um, quarterly incentive um, drawings and, uh, well, monthly in, uh, prizes, quarterly incentive um, drawings, and then uh, medical and dental and vision coverage, which um, one of the beauties of this thing is we offer two different plan designs, one that's skinny down and, and cheaper and one that's more rich. They're the exact same plans that I have the option uh, every year to, to be on. Um, and they're extremely affordable to the employee. So uh, I'm on the I'm on this medical plan, but um, this is something that uh, we feel it has been really, really instrumental in helping us rebuild our numbers. I mentioned at the onset of the call, uh, you know, we were at about 2,000 folks on assignment uh, pre-COVID. Uh, I'm happy to report we're breaking 1,800 in December. This will be the best December that we've had um, in several years, maybe the history of the company. Um, so it, it's the, the, having the PPP funds and uh, a lot of the companies playing catch up uh, coming out of this pandemic. Um, but this benefit program is something that we could um, that can be available if you've got employees and you're trying to figure out a way to offer them benefits. We can partner with you uh, to offer them through uh, through Revo Management Group. It doesn't have to be a temp, temp staffing. Um, and then, you know, one of the final things I want to mention, uh, some folks may know this, uh, uh, others may not, but um, earlier this week, we closed on our new corporate office for Workforce Unlimited. Uh, we purchased the uh, McGriff building. Uh, we'll be moving from the, uh, the Cottle uh, space um, that Peters Development owns uh, to the uh, McGriff space. And we've got some really exciting plans for this. Uh, we'll be in there doing renovations. Uh, Lee Mills Construction will be doing our renovation work for us. Um, we're, we're really excited about our plans and um, what we're going to be doing with this building. But the workforce headquarters will be there. And we bought this building not to flip it, but to show our commitment to Mount Airy. Uh, uh, we, uh, Kendra and I both grew up in Mount Airy. We love Mount Airy. Uh, we are very committed to the town. Um, and, uh, you know, community leader leadership is something I want to speak to as well. As an organization, one of the most important things to us is uh, uh, that we give back to the communities uh, where we live and work. Um, we've done some uh, things over the past uh, several years, uh, you know, monetary gifts and things like that. But we're also um, uh, providing resources and investing in our leaders uh, throughout Mount Erie and Surrey, Surrey County. Uh, to be in leadership roles throughout the community, serving on the chamber, um, uh, as well as um, other th uh, the Shepherd's House, uh, Mannery Museum. We've got a number of folks, and uh, we're very, very committed uh, to the community and want to make sure uh, folks know that uh, we're not going anywhere, despite um, you know how much maybe we've grown. Uh, um, the fact that I, you know, I live in Charlotte today. I'm still up in Mount Erie uh, really frequently. Um, but um, want to make sure folks know uh, we're here to stay. And with that being said, happy holidays.